What's up my fellow Harambe fans? Before I start today's video, have you ever wanted to embarrass yourself in public, be the bane of everyone's existence, and completely despised by everyone you know and love? Well, today is your very own chance, because now I'm selling official py pyrocynical t-shirts. They're very good, very high quality, made in the richest and most refined sweatshops in all of North Korea. They're made with the best materials. If you give them a smell, you can actually smell the salty tears of the orphan children that had to work on these clothes. So they're quite good. You get a very good experience wearing them. Am I getting this in shot? Do you see that? You see that good design? No one above the age of seven would wear these. I've also included a new design into the Pyrocynical merch. If you have a look, you can see, uh, can't even fucking get it in shot. It's, it's a fucking Squidward Fox and it's saying lol. That's it. I've, I've ran out of fucking ideas. Also, if you use this promo code, you get 20% off. They all come in hooded versions as well. Please buy them. I need money. Please. So this video has been a long time coming. I have been banned. If you haven't picked up already. On Twitter. My account has been completely suspended. It's quite annoying to be honest. I've been hoping to be unsuspended. I've filed a bunch of appeals. They keep giving different reasons to why I was suspended and now they've blocked me from filing appeals. So I, I can't even appeal my case anymore. It's dark times have fell upon Pyrocynical. Now a lot of you are probably wondering why I've been suspended, what the reason is. Well, I didn't actually know originally. I was just booted off Twitter. Given no fucking reason whatsoever why, they're just like, you've been suspended, lol, bye. And I myself, I, I didn't know why I was suspended. I don't really understand why. But eventually, I was told why I was suspended by Twitter themselves. Now, originally, I filed a couple of... Oh, God, this is going to fucking kill me. Now, originally, I filed a couple of appeals... They didn't really go anywhere, they just gave very vague reasons, like you've engaged in targeted harassment, you've engaged in sending people death threats, and then I thought, wait, a death threat? That, that rings a bell, because I have never sent a death threat to anyone on Twitter, unironically, but there was one time where I did it as a joke. Now, as some of you may know, the, the final days of my Twitter account before I got fully suspended, it was pretty much interacting with anything for views. We had some Twitter beef, as you like to call it. It was all staged. It was all a joke. We were actually planning on meeting up in the UK and filming a skit and us being aggressive to each other on Twitter. That was to build it up, basically hype up the video. But unfortunately, some idiot, probably with uh, an anime profile picture, they reported me to Twitter. And Twitter were like, what's this? What is irony? I do not comprehend what sarcasm is. You said kill. You said a bad word in a tweet. Goodbye. Meanwhile, uh, came start telling someone to kill himself? That's fine. He's, he's verified. Don't, don't sweat it. But you can't do that, Pyrocynical. Bad. Bad YouTuber. So I got completely knocked off Twitter, which is annoying because I use Twitter to interact with people. If I ever want to do a Q&A, or post a terrible meme that I found. Twitter's the place to do it. I can't do it anymore. A lot of you are now probably thinking, just make another Twitter account. But at, at this point, I'm fucking sick and tired of Twitter, right? It's quite obnoxious because the account that got suspended, that wasn't even my main account. That was an alt account I made and they switched the at, so it went from PyroWalt to PyroCynical. So technically, this is like my third suspension. So, I'm, I'm kind of sick of it now. It's really quite annoying how people can post school shootings and people being beheaded on Twitter. And you've got entire Twitter accounts dedicated to hacking YouTubers and Twitter. They don't give a fuck. 
he didn't tell him to kill himself, but he posted a kid getting decapitated. That's totally fine. I don't break Twitter's community guidelines. We all about free speech up in here. I do feel that Twitter, uh, they, they got quite sick of my, uh, my memes. I wanna fucking die. What is this fucking 100 shirt challenge? It's quite annoying because at this point, I'm really sick of being suspended for like the worst reasons. Now I thought this was gonna get resolved because one of my friends actually got in contact with your boy PewDiePie, my favorite uh, brofist, uh, brofist my asshole. They got in contact with PewDiePie, told him the situation. PewDiePie was like, oh yeah, I got, I got a VIP Twitter contact. I got an employee that works solely for me. And they'll sort it out. We sent the error report. They received it. And Twitter was like, no, we're not going to unsuspend you, Pyro. Because you engaged in targeted harassment. L let's ignore everything anything for view said to you. That's fine. But you, Pyro, we got it out for you. We, we don't fucking like you anymore. Ever since you quit MLG, Twitter staff fucking hate you. We've been waiting for you to slip up so we could suspend you. So then what we had to do was get anything for views to tweet saying that it was a fucking joke because Twitter support actually do not understand or comprehend the definition of sarcasm or irony. To prove that it's a joke, we had to get the victim to tweet saying that it was a joke. And now Twitter are just refusing to respond. You see, th this is the problem with Twitter. I've had a lot of people tell me, it's fine, Pyro. You you're you're a big YouTuber, loads of subs. People love you. You know, just just ask Twitter. They'll unsuspend you. They they've got to. Do you you are you idiot. Do you not understand how Twitter works? Twitter. It, I mean, to any of you that have been suspended on Twitter, uh, and this is for the wrong reasons, right? You don't post a picture of a child getting its leg cut off and then get suspended and then complain about it. That's your own fault, you dumb cop. But to those that have been wrongly suspended. I'm pretty sure you understand how unhelpful Twitter can be. Basically, if you get suspended, you can file an appeal, which is great. You know, you just explain your problem, say why you were suspended, maybe give some justification or clarify the situation. Twitter will read it and they'll be like, that's okay. That's okay. He, uh, he only said, I want to kill Jews. We'll, we'll let him have his Twitter account back. Unfortunately, it, it, it isn't that easy because I genuinely think... The appeal system on Twitter is just ran by a bot. A bot or a man that can't see. And in front of him, he's got two big buttons. One of them says deny, the other says accept. And he just slams them both with his fucking elbows. It's a 50-50 chance. Every appeal I've submitted has been denied. But the problem is they always give a different reason to why my appeal was denied. So it'll be targeted harassment. Then it'll be sending a death threat. Next it'll be... Watch this, you're misogynistic. You made Shrek has swag. We're not gonna unsuspend you, good day. It's time to go away, Pyrocynical. Go back to my space, you'll be accepted there. It's really quite infuriating because I know for a fact that I didn't do anything wrong and there's no point making a new Twitter because I know I'll just tweet something like my name Jeff and they'll suspend me for attacking people called Jeffrey. And the problem is with the Twitter support, unless you're a YouTuber with 10 million plus subs, there is no way you're going to get unsuspended. Uh, like I said, unless you're a big YouTuber like PewDiePie or KSI, where Twitter assign you your own fucking employee to sort out all your problems with. They're not going to help you. The reason I got unsuspended before, uh, back in like January 2016, was because my group, the, the network I'm with at the moment, they actually had a Twitter employee, this Spanish guy who spoke like three actual comprehensible words of English, and he left. He, he didn't say he was leaving, he just left. Now, I don't know whether he left Twitter, or he just quit life in general. I don't fucking know. His Twitter's inactive. Apparently he's quit Twitter. He, he didn't think to assign us with a new Twitter contact, he was just like, Oh, Pablo Senor, Diablo is coming for you, oh no. So it's quite annoying, because I'm now without a Twitter, and I know I could make a new one, and I know I could probably get the handle switched over if I talk to someone eventually, but at, at this point, I just can't be fucked. I know I'm really shooting myself in the foot here, because I'm missing out on interaction and sponsorships. You love some hashtag ad on Twitter. 
Remember, hashtag ad. Kill me, please. Kill me. And honestly, as well, as morbid as this sounds, coming away from Twitter was actually so therapeutic. It was unreal. I just felt like, oh my god. Like, pe people actually aren't AIDS. Because trust me, I've been on Twitter for a while. The entire thing is just people being sarcastic, ironic, and then attacking each other. And I'm not saying this as like a neutral standpoint. I am extremely guilty of this as well. The amount of times no fuckers has posted a serious tweet thanking people or complaining about something, and I respond. I mean, Twitter support isn't exactly the best. They are pretty incompetent, to be completely honest. I mean, they might take bribes. I don't know. They, they might take bribes. I hope they do. Because at the moment, it, it doesn't seem like my Twitter's coming back. Because this is like my third suspension. I mean, I might make a Twitter later on down the line if I get very bored. If I get unsuspended, you know, if, if any of you watching the video, you know a VIP Twitter contact. Yeah? Yeah? And you get me unsuspended. That'd be great. N none of you know any Twitter contacts, though. They love to be uh, very discreet. They're like wizards in Harry Potter. And you're all muggles. You're not worth their time. It is a disappointment because I do enjoy interacting with all of you. You know, it's great to read replies. Some of the stuff you send, like the fan art and that, is fucking amazing. And it was all kind of sourced to Twitter, so it was a lot easier to do. I'm usually just looking around on Tumblr and other stuff like that for the time being. So, not having a Twitter has made like I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It's been a lot better without Twitter. But there are some aspects I do miss. Like, for example, people bullying each other. Isn't, isn't bullying great? You know, bullying? But that's pretty much it for this video. I am suspended. I don't know if I'm coming back at the moment. There's no point. If I do get unsuspended, if a Twitter employee does actually comprehend what sarcasm or irony is and chooses to unsuspend me, I'll come back with my terrible force memes. But in the meantime, there's not really much point. Uh, start a hashtag, free pyro. He really does deserve it. He really, really does. Please unban him. I'm begging you. Lol. You could try that hashtag. I'm sure three people will tweet it and no one else. Anyways, that's pretty much the entire video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to try to upload daily again. Hopefully starting tomorrow. I, I hope. Probably not. Anyways, support is always appreciated. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to comment Harambe down below. <laughs>